Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I am here with another unboxing video for you today and I am so excited. I have my YA March Fairy Loop box to open with you. Now I have the adult um, book only coming as well but there are some delays with the March box unfortunately so I think it said I will probably get it at the end of March, probably the start of April so when I do have my uh, adult box I will just add the clip on to uh, this video video and I am also so excited to share that I have signed up to the Romance box as well so I will be getting the first book for that as well and I am so excited. So I wanted to quickly show you something that I got the other day that it was a pre-order and I just think it's so cute. Um, I um, signed up to get um, a a dedicated copy of this author's new middle grade book and the book in question is The Girl Who Dreamed in Magic which is by Maria Kuzmier. Maria Kuzmier is a middle grade author and she wrote the Ship of Shadows series but she's also written um, Midnight in Everwood and Upon a Frost's Star and I absolutely loved both of those. This is her brand new middle grade book and it's just so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure reading the synopsis, it's Norse mythology, which has got me very, very excited because I just finished A Fate, Inks and Bloods last night and I gave it five stars. It's my favourite book of the year and I am obsessed with Norse mythology now. So I definitely need Norse mythology in my life. But the very special thing about this was that if you pre-ordered it, you could get it dedicated. And I got it dedicated and she signed it like that, which is so cute. And it says, to Claire, you are braver than a Viking, Maria Kuzner. That's, I just think it's so cute. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And I am pretty sure that this will be a, a middle grade magic book club pick for April, I think, off the top of my head. So um, I would recommend going picking this up if you wanted to take part in middle grade magic. So I just wanted to share this stunning middle grey book with you all and it's so, so cute and it's quite short as well actually so that'll be great for a read so I just wanted to share that with you guys so I have my March YA fairy looks here with me and I know what the book is and I am really really excited to see what fairy loot have uh, done with it because I think I've mentioned previously that I follow an Instagram account where it gives rough ideas for what each of the subscription uh, box books are which is really really handy especially to avoid like getting doubles for books and things so let me get crack this open and we have our spoiler card and I am right about the book with this really really pretty artwork and our theme for March for the YA box is heists and hustles nice and I'm just going to get the book out and I haven't seen any spoilers for what this looks like, so I've got no clue what this book is going to look like. So I'm going to get it out. Oh. oh, I see orange sprayed edges. And I don't think we have an author letters. It might be one of those that's bound in the book, so let me get this out the right way. Okay, so our uh, March YA Fairy Loot book is going to be, oh my god, oh that is so pretty. So we have A Tempest of Tea by Hamza Faisal, Faisal, I don't know how you pronounce that, my apologies, but this is really different to the original and I really love it. It's so beautiful and it's a completely different cover change. I'll put a picture of the original cover which I absolutely love. I love the original cover but I love how different this is and the sprayed edges are stunning as well. So we have a completely different cover with the teapot with like an orange and red kind of flame. Looks it with gold foiling and then we have this on the back and the spine 
and then we have these really really pretty sprayed edges with the little teacup which I absolutely love and block orange on the top and bottom absolutely stunning <gasps> and there's even foiling on the like inside of the flap which is absolutely beautiful and I am sure and I'm pretty sure that this should be signed by the author oh I don't think it is signed actually and we haven't got an author letter I don't think no and we don't have an author letter but we have really really pretty end papers <gasps> and the that is really 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 pretty and then we should have different I don't know if these are the same or if they're different on the back very pretty and then we have this stunning design on the naked hard back which is absolutely gorgeous and I love the teacup and then on the back we have a gold teapot absolutely stunning and we don't have anything on the reverse of the dust jacket but we do have like gold foiling on the flaps inside which is really pretty so I'm really impressed actually with the how Fairy Loo have done a completely different um edition of this so I will get the synopsis up for you because I have a rough idea of what Tempest of Tea is about but um, I'll get the synopsis and we'll read through the synopsis together. Okay guys, and me being completely dumb, we it, the book is actually signed. We do have an author letter bound in the book that is signed by Hamza Faisal, which is really, really nice to have. So I don't know if this is going to be a new thing for the YA um, books that we're getting a letter bound in because it was the same for, um, uh, uh, for last month's book, The Crimson Moth, actually. We had that, so I don't know if that's going to be a new thing. But it's different. So um, because um, on the flaps, on the inside of the dust jacket, there's no synopsis, I'm going to have to read off of the spoiler card for A Tempest of Tea, which is absolutely fine. So it says on the spoiler card here, so it's set in a rich imagining of 1920s London, a remain character and her fellow misfits navigate their way through a tangled web of heists and conspiracies in a dark vampire underworld. Get ready for an enemy to love as romance, secret vampire societies and of course tea. So that's really all I want to know about it. So vampires, um, kind of like a heist book which gives me like um, Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo vibes which I actually have not read Six of Crows but I did watch the first series of Shadow and Bone and the Six of Crows characters were in that and I did quite enjoy the, those characters. So yeah, I'm really, really intrigued about this one. So this is definitely going to be a high priority read for me for April actually because I have decided to do Magical Readathon in April and I'm going to use this for one of the um, prompts. So yeah, um, so I will add on the clips of my other book boxes um that when they do come in so um, i don't know when they will come in so hopefully quite soon but i will just um uh wrap up this portion of the uh, unboxing for now and hopefully i will get my other boxes very very soon hello guys it is currently march the 29th when i'm filming this it is good friday so i am now off for a long weekend for easter and i'm so excited but i wanted to come in and uh give you and finally my unboxing for the march ya um march ya fairy look Honestly, I cannot speak today. The March adult book only book from Fairy Lou. I f honestly, it feels like it's been ages since we got um, the March YA book only box, but I am so excited for this one and I am pretty confident I know what the book is and I can't wait to see what Fairy Lou have done with it. Because from the spoilers and stuff, it definitely sounds quite up my street. So let's crack this open and see what the book looks like. Oh my goodness, it's patched really tight. 
also because I only get the book only subscription we get our spoiler card and I am right about the book and our March theme for the adult box is Swan Lake which definitely gets me very very excited because I like anything like retelling like Swan Lake kind of vibes um Upon Frost's Star Vibes by Marie Cousinier was like a Swan Lake retelling so this is definitely getting me very very excited so let's get the book out oh it feels like quite a chunky one so let's get the book out and let me see add it doesn't look like we have an author letter it might be one that's bound in the book but so our March adult book for Fairy Loot is going to be... Oh my god! This is absolutely stunning. So we have A Feather So Black by Lyra Celine. Celine? I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but look at this cover. This is absolutely stunning. I love it so much. Oh, the edges as well. I've just seen the edges. I'll put a picture up of the original cover up on screen, which I absolutely love. I do love the original cover, but this is absolutely stunning. So we have silver foiling on here. And it's kind of half matte, half glossy. So the main... One of the characters here, she's like a bit glo a bit glossier. And then this is the spine, which I love. And then this is the back, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then we have these stunning sprayed edges, which I am absolutely obsessed with. Look at them. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have purple flowers on the bottom. And then we have more purple flowers on the top. Oh, fairy loot. This is absolutely stunning. And I know nothing about this book. And it is signed by Lyra, the author, which is nice to have. I've never read anything from this author before. So I don't know if it's a debut. Let me have a look. Um, she's the author of the young adult duology Amber and Dark, A Feather So Black as an adult debut. Nice! So that's great to see. Oh my god, I'm just absolutely obsessed with this. So, And we have absolutely st the naked hardback, you guys. Oh my god. So we have these stunning end papers that look like this. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have matching the end papers on the back. But the naked are back, you guys. Look at this. I love it so much. It's kind of like an off purple rather than a black, which I think is so pretty. So we have silver foiling and then we have this on the back. Oh my god, I Fairy Loot, I absolutely love this. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. And then I think we should have a reversible dust jacket, which is pretty much similar to the original cover, but I think it's more of a colour change, but this is really really nice to have very pretty well i am definitely intrigued about this one so i will um get the synopsis for you guys and we will read through the synopsis together okay guys so i've got the synopsis for a feather so black so let's read through it together and from the look of how this fairy loot edition looks i am definitely intrigued about this one so it says on the synopsis a Feather So Black is a sizzling fantasy romance. Uh, check please. That, like, fantasy romance is definitely, I love it. 
uh, set in a world of perilous magic and moonlit forests, spinning a seductive tale of a changeling princess, her cursed sister, and the dangerous fae lord she must defeat to save her family. I had no idea that there was going to be fae in this, so this definitely piqued my interest. So it says in the main synopsis, In a kingdom where magic has been lost, Fia is a rare changeling. She was left behind by the wicked fair folk where they stole the High Queen's daughter, Alea. When a hidden gate to the world of the fair folk is discovered, Fia is tasked by the High Queen to, to retrieve e Elea, I think that's how you pronounce it, and break her curse. But she doesn't go alone with her prince. With her is Prince Rogan, Elea's betrothed and Fia's childhood best friend. So friends to lovers potentially in here as the two journey into a world where magic winds through the roots of the trees and beauty can be a deadly illusion fia's mission is complicated by her feelings for the prince and her unexpected attraction to the dark heart ha, dark hearted fae lord holding Aaliyah captive Orion must be might, might be more monster than man but he seems to understand fia in a way that no one ever has oh i am very intrigued so potentially a love triangle in here which is very interesting i am so excited for this and i ha i do know that there is going to be a, a round of box box in may so this could potentially be an option for me for box box reads on in may but i am so excited for this and fairy loot you've knocked out of the park with this edition it is absolutely stunning and i I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love it so much. Okay, guys, so I am finally wrapping up my March Fairy Loot uh, unboxing for this month, and I am so happy with these stunning additions. So we had A Tempest of Tea by Haves of Faisal for the YA and A Feather So Black for the adult, and I love that they could be more different. Like, the Tempest of Tea edition is a lot more warm tones, but A Feather So Black is more like your blues and purples, and I just love it. It's kind of like night and day in a way, but I am so excited for both of these, and I will be uh, reading A Tempest of Tea for my Magical Readathon uh, prompt, so this is definitely getting read, and I think I will definitely save this one for uh, Box Box Readathon in May, because my April TBR is just crazy at the moment so I won't be able to fit it in unfortunately but um box box reads on in May I'm definitely picking this up this is just absolutely gorgeous so if you liked my video uh give it a like and subscribe I would really appreciate it and let me know which of the March uh fairy picks have uh are you excited for have you read any of these if you have read them let me know what you thought of them and yeah I will see you all in my next video very very soon bye